Hi guys, so in this video I'm just going to talk about some uh, topics that I've been talking about the last few weeks and just emphasize a little bit more on YouTube SEO and the power of YouTube for ranking uh, your business on the Google search engine and also on YouTube itself because YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. It's owned by Google. Obviously Google's the first. Now the important thing with this video is to uh, understand that any business can use this tactic um, and I'm talking, you know, a mechanic, a carpentry business, a hairdressers, you know, IT, digital marketing company, any sort of business um, that provides services can use this tactic and really scale themselves online and be, and be beating the competition. That's the most important thing um, because the, a lot of the competition is not using these tactics. It's something that is um, not really, really well known about, especially in local cities and towns um, in the UK. From what I'm seeing, a lot of industries are missing out on this. Um, so I'm just going to talk about it now. So this is one of the clients that I've been uh, dealing with today, uh, helping them with their with his DIY channel, which is extremely new. It's only been up for uh, you know a matter of a month or so, and I've been optimizing the videos and obviously helping create new ones. So this video I uploaded around uh, a couple of hours ago, um, how to make a wooden door frame for less than five pounds. And one of the things I've mentioned in a previous video as well is the thumbnails, which is the image that is uh, linked with the video. The first thing that people see when they're scrolling through a YouTube news feed um, or a new YouTube video feed, sorry, is the thumbnail. So if it stands out and it's got the direct sort of messaging on there that's uh, appealing to people with minimal colors, but bright colors that pop out at you when you are scrolling through, which is exactly what I've tried to do with this. It's very minimalist, um, but obviously the five pound is in red, the same as red is the, you know, the logo um, with the car, you know, with a little caricature and obviously Dave in there as well. And, you know, obviously five pound cheap, people think, oh, you know what, that sounds pretty good. I'll, I'll have a look at that. And um, that was the sort of message I wanted to sort of convey with this one, with this thumbnail. Some of the others, again, I've had to put a photograph in the background to give a bit more illustration to what the video is about um, because people might think a compost toilet they don't have an image in their mind of what that is so that's basically what it looks like um, obviously that you know you've got the seat on that goes on top and stuff like that but that's a another part of another video so what with this one then if I go into the actual back end of YouTube and I'll show you what I've been doing with this so the description needs to be or the title should i say needs to have relevant keywords for the niche that you are making a video for so if you've got a mechanic a garage and you want to make a video about um you know how to repair a diesel engine or something you know um, to do with uh, motorbikes or anything like that you always make sure that the video that you've created that you create the right title that's relevant to the video's content and it's also keyworded correctly so that it beats competition because in a lot of these industries especially with diy is a very very um sort of big niche a lot of people are producing a lot of content all around the world for diy so it's hard to compete with that to get your video ranked organically uh, so you've got to do some research and make sure that your title is well keyworded like for example with this one diy door frame how to make a door frame diy dave uh, i'll just zoom in a little bit for you on this one <clears throat> now the title also has to be uh, identical on the first line of the description uh, that fits in with the sort of um, guidelines of YouTube for some reason that that really helps um, also the description needs to be lengthy so the description here you've got up to 5,000 words that you can use um, I've used 2,880 but you don't need to use 5,000 it's recommended I would say to use at least 1,500 or more um, and within that description, you've got to make sure that you use keywords again that are relevant to the video, that are relevant to the niche that people are going to be searching for. So, for example, DIY, there's going to be carpentry in here. There's also, um, you know, boarding, plastering, flooring, skirting. There's designers, contractors, etc., etc. You know, people are going to be searching for all sorts of different terms to do with the construction industry, the DIY niche, woodworking, carpentry, etc. So I've, I've created a very lengthy description here, which is uh, very important. Obviously then that's where you, further down, you can create your custom thumbnail. Some people like to use a thumbnail of the video, um, but I prefer to, to have that thumbnail that pops, especially when people are, their attention spans aren't great and they're scrolling through because you know that's what people do. They're not paying attention. If it stands out, then it's uh, shiny object syndrome stuff, so. <laughs> 
uh, playlists, add your video to a playlist if you can. Um, obviously there's a few playlists on this channel already, which means if it's in a playlist, it will play the next video relevant to your channel. It won't play a rival competitor's video after yours. You wanna keep them on your channel as long as possible. Um, go down to the tags. Again, this is a section where you can add in uh, keywords again, uh, which are relevant search terms to the video you're uploading. Now, if this all is all sounds very complicated to you, a lot of people I'm explaining this to might not understand what SEO is, which is search engine optimization, um, which is basically when you search something in Google, pages that are optimized will be the ones that you see first that are the best optimized for whatever you're searching for. Uh, and keywords are words that are making up those search terms that then make up search engine optimization, basically. That's that's a pretty much, you know, sort of layman's terms of how I can explain it to people. Um, but they take research, you need to find out what, what's trending, uh, what people are searching for, and if you've got a specific niche, the trending keywords, and then look for also keywords that are um, high search volume but low competition, for example, which you can do with some of this software that I can leave a link in the description for. It's called vidIQ. Uh, it's very, very good. It searches competitors' keywords and goes through and gives you a lot of um, helpful tips and you can spy on your competitors and really sort of uh, copy and paste some of their tactics as well as include your own. Um, the language and description stuff, you've got to make sure, sorry, captions, uh, make sure that that's all filled in because a lot of people leave this blank. So obviously the video is, is in English, uh, the title and description is English. Um, caption certification, that's more to do with making sure it's not been aired on television and stuff like that. Again, it's more US based stuff. So you say the content hasn't been aired on the US um, TV network and then you put in the recording date of the video and the location. So again, if someone's in that location, which is in Wales, um, if they are searching for certain things, then more than likely your video could pop up if they're in searching for DIY. You know, it's um, it, it actually embeds it in with the video itself, that, that, that location tag. So it's very important. So again, category down here, how to, which is, is obviously a how to video. If you've got um, <clears throat> a blog, a personal blog, you can you know, make sure it's in, in the right category. Some people are obviously into streaming gaming, so, you, you know, sport, you know, you get, my, you get the drift really. It's uh, whatever suits the, the, uh, the video that you're uploading. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get passed through this now and just show you um, how this works. So we'll go on to um, a new, fresh browser. So this has got no history. Incognito means it's got no browsing history on the actual browser itself. So <clears throat> we'll just go for youtube.com and we will go for DIY door frame because that's obviously what people are gonna be looking for for that sort of video and we'll see where we're ranking. So again, this is gonna be a very competitive niche. So I'm not expecting to be at the top of the page just yet. Um, <clears throat> 620,000 views from this guy, DIY Tyler, um, 1.2 million views, how to make a DIY, how to make a door frame. Uh, there's not many DIY in the actual descript title there, but how to make door frames, same thing, DIY doors. Again, these are very big channels, 224,000 views, 14,000. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I'm, um, let's have a look here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine videos down and, and I'm in between. One video that's 226,000 views, which was uploaded a year ago, Rad Dad Builds, uh, and in between DIY with Dave, 14,000. So I think that's that's pretty a pretty successful upload there, to be honest. Um, and that just shows you the power. So there's gonna be a lot of people searching around the world, you know, at some point, wanting to learn how to make a door frame, do it yourself. Um, so that, again, just shows you the power of it. Now, I'll also give you an example of my digital marketing agency, I'm uh, based in Devon. So if someone was searching for digital marketing in Devon, there you go, I'm at the top of the page. That's on page one, right at the top. And again, like I said to you, this this has no browsing history. This is a brand new YouTube um, account. So there's two videos there uh, that I've obviously keyword in the in the title description as well, SEO. Um, creative examples, there's two more. 
Um, so I'm beating again, not going to name names, but there is quite a few uh, established companies uh, around the area that I'm beating. Now, National Servicing, that's another uh, business that I'm helping there, a road, a resin, sorry, a base business and also tarmac driveways and block paving as well. He's had huge results from um, me uploading these videos with this SEO tactic. Um, now, one of the things I was going to say as well is, is if you want to learn how to do this sort of stuff for yourself, there is a fantastic training, a beginner's training guy, which goes through a seven day training, um, which is from a friend of mine called James Jernigan. Um, I've taken the training, even though I had a pretty good understanding of SEO for, for other things that we do, like website development and stuff like that. But specifically, I wanted to learn SEO for video marketing. And I took his training and it was absolutely fantastic. And it's one of the main reasons I'm getting these results now. Um, and so like some of my clients, you know, they're, they're, they've been getting more leads, more phone calls because of people seeing their businesses um, on YouTube. So again, it's massively underrated. It's something that a lot of people aren't realizing is, is something to take advantage of. It's all organic. There's not paid traffic involved. You don't have to worry about spending money on ads. It's just a case of creating the content, uploading the content with the right title, the right description, the right keywords, optimizing that video, um, again, copying it and keeping the consistency going and you will beat the majority of other businesses around your area even nationally on things like this it's so powerful it's unbelievable and you know it's it's just worth taking advantage of so if you're interested in learning this sort of stuff for yourself there'll be a link in the description to uh james's seven day training course um i can quickly go into that and show you a little bit about what it's uh what you get included with that one <clears throat> so how to rank uh, is his actual business um, this is him James Jernigan um, and there is a lot of information on the link in the description on his page about what he offers and how he helps you um, learn some website SEO going through then the YouTube SEO and teaching you even how to help create some content for you and you'll basically get everything you need to really get started with this um, and at the moment he's got a very very good deal on with my link uh, at the moment it's $97 and that's all you pay and you get lifetime access to be able to go into the portal whenever you need to and uh, go through any revise yourself because it is very in-depth you know even though it's seven days um, potentially it might take you a bit longer than that and you might think to yourself oh, I'm a bit confused or I need to go back and have a look through it again um, because there's a lot of information there that normally you would pay if I'm honest thousands for um, probably one of the best courses I've ever taken to be honest um, it is very very good so I'll give you a quick overview of his actual portal so you know what you're going to be getting if you're interested in purchasing this um, so this is the the portal you know you'd access it once you you um, pay the $97 and you get access to the actual training platform um, he, off, he also gives you an opportunity to earn money by promoting his course. So if you if you like what you, you've received and you're getting great results from it, which I think you, well, I'm pretty sure you will if you follow the training, um, you can then also recommend it to other people and you will get a uh, commission for that. Um, with each section, you've, again, you've got eight sections, uh, obviously introduction. I'll just give you an example of some of the sections. So one of them is competitor analysis. So this, again, was what I was talking about, was looking at what your competitors are doing. Uh, and this is a 26 minute video going through going through some of that pack. and that's common you're going to see that with any local business um, the map pack is where the first results are going to be so uh, in this training we will be creating a google my business and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to make a business that can pop up in this map pack if you optimize it correctly so so again that's google my business again extremely powerful um so he teaches you how to optimize that as well and that's just one section um uh, keyword analysis and how to find trending keywords and also using the right keywords to beat competition as well in section three section four is about creation of platforms so facebook pages uh, instagram you know reddit twitter creating your social media platforms to be able to then upload and share links of your videos on your website to build yourself more authority online uh, section five is more content creation as well so that teaches you how to use some of the uh, bits of software one of the next videos i'm going to go through is actually a detailed explanation of how you can use canva which is a very good graphic design software um, very easy to use this is what it basically is and i will go through uh, a brief sort of training on um, how you can use that to create some extremely easy but effective looking content for your brand or your business 
um, and let's just go back to where we were so then uh, obviously the background eraser there's, there's a little tip on how to remove backgrounds on images as well which is quite handy that took me a good while when I was at the beginning stages of all of this to, to figure out how to do it very frustrating trying to use Photoshop um, there's a lot of easier ways to do it um, with section six that again is all about YouTube so that goes through everything that I've just explained but in more detail and section seven is creating websites as well there's, a, there's an option on there to be able to build your own website um, and there's a little bonus on there as well um, which again i'll let you know about when you if you decide to sign up for the course <laughs> um, but you are going to get that again for a very special rate of 97 dollars. so the 97 at the moment i think it's around about with the exchange rate but about 85 pounds something like that so it's extremely good value for money um, and that will help you achieve the kind of results that i've i've had um, with with YouTube for my clients um, I will also be doing some future training on how to actually build these videos and actually construct uh, sales tactics on how to get your the right sort of video out there with um, you know a higher engagement rate and getting the right message across and impactful imagery and graphics and animations and I'm going to talk about that in further videos uh, as part of my, my training as well but if you like this video guys um, Feel free to, to like and subscribe for the channel. If you're watching it on YouTube or on Facebook, you can give us a like and maybe a comment, see what you think of it. Um, be nice to hear your feedback. And um, the links will be in the comment section or in the description on YouTube uh, for everything I've talked about, including James's course as well. So um, thank you very much for your time. And uh, I hope you have a great Halloween if I don't um, make another video before that for you guys. And uh, speak to you soon. Cheers.